We had the consensus of our previous client to show, for example, some of our Libyan uh, work, uh, which is, is, for us, it was uh, very interesting work. Uh, it was more kind of uh, uh, analysis. We didn't focus on building. When we went to Libya, uh, we worked also with the public sector. Libya, as you know, it's the size of France and Italy and Spain together, you know, a very large country. The desert in one stretch almost over 3,000 kilometers. They wanted to know how can you exploit the desert you know, and how can you generate more tourism development in the Libyan desert. You know? uh, so we sent a small uh, group of people to charter the Libyan desert from all the way from the Algerian borders to the Sudanese and Egyptian border. A trip that it was so serious that um, it was like six cars with kitchens and tent and they spent almost a month there charting the desert. One of the kind of Libyan escorts said that uh, they didn't do this since like before the Second World War. Nobody charted the desert this way. There's thousands of pictures that you can see here on the ground uh, that shows every spot uh, is taken. The project also for us was about preservation, so we put together almost um, a manifesto of how you can deal with the development uh, of, of the Libyan desert by holding to nothing. You know, uh, that the nothing was the best kind of attraction that you can have in the desert. And actually the books are available here, you can look at it. No? And that's something very proud of, despite everything uh, done in, uh, in, in Libya. And it still gets a lot of attention, even from uh, 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 the new uh, Libyan uh, leadership. They, they still, I mean, they're already talking to us about this project. Yeah?